A girl stands three meters from a basketball hoop. She throws a ball with an initial velocity of 6.5 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal. The hoop is 1.35 meters above the bottom of the ball when it's initially thrown. Carry out calculations to determine whether or not the ball will go through the hoop. Begin your answer by calculating the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity of the ball. Firstly, we use trigonometry to figure out these components. The horizontal component is equal to 6.5 times the cosine of 60 degrees. And the vertical component will be 6.5 meters per second times the sine of 60 degrees. Now we deal with each velocity component separately. The horizontal distance to the hoop is 3 meters, and the horizontal velocity is 3.25 meters per second. So to find the time taken to get to the hoop, horizontally at least, we use v equals distance over time, and rearrange it as time equals distance divided by velocity, which in this case is equal to 3 divided by 3.25 equal to 0.923 seconds. Now we see if the ball is high enough to go into the hoop when it's horizontally in the right place. So we use the vertical component of the velocity. Distance equals initial velocity times time plus half acceleration times time squared equals 5.63 times 0.923 plus 0.5 times negative 9.8 times 0.923 squared. Remember, the gravitational acceleration is negative since it acts downwards. And this is all equal to 1.02 meters. Remember, this is the distance above the height that the ball was released at. The hoop was 1.35 meters above this height, so when the ball horizontally reaches the hoop, it's too low to go in. Therefore, the ball will not go through the hoop. An elastic rope is suspended from a beam so that it is hanging vertically down. A girl of mass, 55 kilograms, hangs vertically down on the elastic rope. The rope is stretched 0.6 meters below its normal position when she hangs from it. Calculate the elastic potential energy stored in the elastic rope. The first thing to recognize here is that the force she exerts on the rope is the same as the gravitational force exerted on her, as it's just her weight that stretches out the rope. Force equals mass times acceleration, or gravitational acceleration, and it also equals the spring constant times x. So mg equals kx. Substituting in what we know, 9.8 times 55 equals k times 0.6. And rearranging, k must equal 898.3. For potential energy, we use E equals half kx squared. So we substitute in k and x to get E equals half 898.3 times 0.6 squared to find E equals 160 joules. This is the amount of elastic potential energy stored in the rope.